Okay, Alejandro, um, let's see. Your presentation, really nice. One of the things that I like about your presentation is that you were listening to, well, more than listening to my class, you were reading the material that I send you during the semester. So it's, uh, number one, um, if I think a little bit about the things Gary got Reynolds, uh, Reynolds says in his um, material, um, presentation Zen, um, very simple kind of presentation, which I like. Um, the text, quite limited. You, you used the text you needed to use for your presentation, which is good. You didn't even use bullets, um, which is bullet points, which I do believe that's nice because I don't really like bullet points uh, that much in a presentation. Um, no transitions here, no animations here. Um, and that's important because um, it's basically listening to you and the images are your support to illustrate what you're going to say. You're using high quality graphics. I like that because they are, each one of them is related to the content that you are trying to share with the audience. Um, you are respecting copyright. Um, you've identified or you ad give attribution to each of, of the images, um, which I do believe, especially for uh, someone who's going to become a librarian or an archivist, that you acknowledge who the creator of the image um, was. Um, what else? Um, well, yeah, yeah, there is a visual theme. You are not using PowerPoint templates. Um, you didn't use charts, that's okay. Uh, but you use color really well. I mean, the way you're using the image and the and the fonts, especially the fonts, the type of fonts that you chose, that's that's nice. It is very simple. And once again, uh, we are not distracted by the kind of font that you chose or, or the colors. Um, you didn't use video. That's okay. And um, and that's it. So I, I really like um, the design of your presentation. Um, now, number one. One of the things that you have to take into, into account, especially for the first slide, and I think it's the last slide or something. Let's start with this one over here. Remember, it is all humans need. Don't use the article. Why not? Because you are talking about all humans. You are not talking about a certain group of humans. When you are talking about a certain group of humans, you are going to use the article. Um, and that applies to anything. Uh, in this case, you're talking about all humans, so don't use the article here. The other slide is this one, like this images, no text, share, love it here, which Connor and you start telling your story and the brain and all that. Really nice, I believe this is the part, that's what I understand, the part where he realizes that controlling his emotional, his, his emotions can help him um, overcome any problem, obstacle, etc. Really like it. Then you've got this um, um, sentence here: "Emotions trigger our behavior." Is this yours, or it, it was taken from somewhere else? If it is not yours, you need the uh, name of the person who said this, and it's got to be within inverted commas quotations. Um, same thing here. Everybody has emotional intelligence. Intelligence. That's right. Is that yours, or is it someone else? Um, good here, like this very simple image to contrast emotional quotient and intelligence quotient. Um, uh, very good here, 90% of the people that do well in their jobs have a high EQ. Same thing here, is this yours? Okay, here you are, I, didn't, I like, I really, really like the images you chose for self-awareness and self-management and social awareness, great. Um, relationship management, good. The question, really very smart you choosing this image and then asking a question, really like it. Very simple. And this slide, I think this is, yeah, this is the last slide. Is this yours or it's your, um, or, or, or is it someone else else's um, uh, claim or idea? If it is not, it's going to be uh, within inverted commas or quotation marks. Um, and it should start with the article, the indefinite article, an intelligent person is one who knows, etc. 
I do. I don't remember. I have to check out. But I think in uh, one of the um, chapters that I shared with you during the semester, there is something about quotations. I'm gonna check it out, and I will let you know. And I'll let you know in a minute if I share that one with you.